Today, I am going on a massive spending spree for a Titans themed team in Madden 24. What is going on, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. So, before we go into the auction house and go on our massive spending spree, first we're going to generate the best Titans themed team lineup, see what players we already have, see which players we actually need to upgrade on. Looks like we already have a starting tight end and maybe a quarterback ryan fitzpatrick and john new smith it looks like there so there it is they actually put marcus mariota over ryan fitzmagic i'm gonna be putting ryan fitzmagic back at qb1 for sure looks like we already have a left side of the line we may upgrade a left tackle there right side needs to be dealt with there john new smith again tight end one for sure calvin ridley can probably stay on the team but chris moore and that lower randy moss definitely got to go there derrick henry can definitely be a starter for this team not sure why Rich Eisen's at halfback one, but he might play a filler fullback role for us there because, you know, Vernon Davis was never on the Titans, so he will not be playing there for us. Then our defense here, Robert Spillane, Bud Dupree. It looks like we have some lower overalls that we'll definitely need to upgrade on there. Eric Berry's our team captain, so we'll leave him there since he does get times three chem. Looks like we're going to need some cornerback upgrades. We might keep Sean Murphy bunting as a cornerback three. We'll see there. Looks like we have a D tackle, a couple ends. So a lot of lower overall Titans players that we should probably upgrade on and definitely some holes to fill with this Titans theme team. So let's go to the auction house here and see what we can cook up here. We're going to start with the offensive side of the ball. The nice thing is we already have a QB, so that is pretty cool. We do need some wide receiver help for sure. And we actually don't need a tight end, maybe a backup tight end, but we'll see how that goes there. And we actually might pick up a Quanco here, 86 overall, just for a backup tight end role here, because Janu is going to be our tight end one for sure there. So a Quanco there, pretty cheap purchase, nothing crazy to start out on the spending spree, but he will be a serviceable backup for us there. Just taking a look at the auction house here, we're going to go down to the type and start filtering it down by certain positions we need here again i know we need some alignment for sure wide receivers there as well again i think a quanko can be serviceable for us there so let's go ahead and look at left tackle there we do have an 89 which is honestly okay but i mean yeah there's a 93 why don't we just upgrade to the 93 version it's really honestly not that much anyway so Let's upgrade to a 93 left tackle there. Help out the O-line a little bit. We still do need a right guard and a right tackle. So we do have to figure that out here. Going to be looking at the right guard and there's only a gold. That is not looking good. We might have to move some positions around here. Let's take a look at right tackle though. Looks like there's a John Runyon. He looks pretty dang solid there. I think I'm going to be picking up John Runyon here, 94 overall. Nothing crazy there, but he should be very serviceable for us here. So 94, John Runyon, welcome to the squad. You should make a great right tackle for us. Now we're only missing one of the guards, which is the right guard, but we're going to take a look at left guards, see if we can fill it. Looks like Peter Skaronsky, left guard there. He should be pretty solid and filling in for the right guard position because we already have Bruce Matthews i believe at the left guard spot there so he should be pretty solid looks like the o-line is going to be filled out here so we're going to move on to the next position here which it is going to be looking like we are going to go to the wide receiver position here now i have a few ideas in mind here there's an aj brown team of the year um, there's also julio jones combine as well um, I'm trying to think of any other Titans theme team wide receivers we can pick up on. Definitely AJ Brown, I feel like, has to get in the mix. We're going to be picking up AJ Brown over 100,000 coins. Easy purchase, though. He should be a great wide receiver for us. We already have Calvin Ridley, who should be a serviceable wide receiver. So I feel like it's got to be Julio Jones. I know there is technically a 99 DeAndre Hopkins, but he's a part of that theme team remix promo. And I'm not, I don't exactly have the coins to get him up to that 99. So I think Julio Jones here is definitely going to be the safe bet. The combine, he's going to be an absolute monster there. So that should help out fill out the offense there for the most part, pretty much. So now let's go ahead and go to the defensive side of the ball filter down by the team Titans here. And let's see if we can find some stud defensive players here. Got some guys of mine here. Looks like for the D tackles, there's really not too much on the auction house here. I will be taking this 90 overall tier tart, but I feel like we have to get an upgrade, more of an upgrade at least, 
like a higher 90 overall at that d tackle position so we'll see how that plays out we will pick up tier tart for now but we're definitely going to come back to the d tackle position or we can move one of the ends to a d tackle we'll see how it all fits out but i don't know if i want uh my boy tier tart to start there so we'll see how that plays out but moving on to our next position here taking a look at some ends i might take autry here honestly again with me if you if you never watched my channel before you don't know i really don't use the ends too much normally i'm using the outside linebackers when i'm rushing the passer and such so the ends are really not too much of a concern to me so autry is really more just the fill of the roster i mean he's an 88 he'll fill out just fine at the end spot there so i'm not too worried our next end and this is what i was talking about earlier this is what i'm referring to here jeffrey simmons he should be able to move to a d tackle spot and still be very good looks like he's a 96 overall version there from the weekly wild cards promo he is looking pretty good i feel like because again i could just pick up his 88 and put him at right end there just leave him there but i think i want his 96 that way i can put him at the d tackle one spot and he should i'm praying have a inside stuff ability so i think we're going to be taking jeffrey simmons here let's freaking go do kind of expensive a little bit there but hey i think it will be worth it for sure there so jeffrey simmons welcome to the squad our d tackle one there moving on to our next defense position here which is going to be an outside linebacker it doesn't look like any good ones were there there was only one gold player so let's take a look at the other outside linebacker and there is an aka cruise bullock here which i think is definitely going to be worth it 94 overall he should have an x factor which is really cool and hopefully a zero ap ability as well so keith bullock there should be pretty solid for the titans theme team moving on to our next position here which is going to be the middle linebacker spot and i'm looking for someone in specific here and that is going to be aziz al shalir i i don't know if that's it i might have butchered his name but i'll show you here is a very good budget beast and he also has a one ap lurk artist ability slot there so i think we're going to be taking him he's pretty solid at a 93 overall he should be pretty good we also have the team of the week robert spillane he should fill in just fine i'm honestly not too worried about it there so we'll take al shahir there at the middle linebacker spot moving on to corners here now this is looking a little bleak i won't even lie to you guys maybe roger mccreary he honestly might be pretty solid so i'll take his 95 version there roger mccreary welcome to the squad there so we got mccreary sean murphy bunting we really do need one just good stud here and i know for a fact that Legarius sneed just got traded to the titans from the chiefs so he does have a team of the year card i think we're going to be picking that up and i mean yeah he should be an absolute stud for this titans theme team he should get titans theme team chem i believe i did look it up on my gg he does have the titans theme team chem there so he should be looking pretty good for us there should be a lockdown corner no doubt in my mind there so looks like our secondary is almost finished we still need a free safety now i do have someone in mind here which is actually going to be kevin byard here who did get traded in the middle of the season to the eagles here but i believe he does have a 96 genkai force card yes he does indeed that should be pretty exciting for this team we're going to be picking it up here almost 80 thousand coins there so spent almost like 700k for uh, all those players there but hey i think it'll definitely be worth it here here is the official lineup and the ability so as you guys will take a look here we have the o-line it's actually one of the better o-lines i've dealt with with uh making these theme teams here kevin malway team captain times three titans chem 99 overall there we have peter skronsky with post up there john runyon bruce matthews andre dillard there again a pretty solid group of guys there as well so actually for once i'm pretty decently confident in the line of course they're not the best in the world but they should get the job done we also have our tight end one john new smith here yak him up along with red zone threat deep in elite there 97 speed 63 a very good tight end he was pretty solid on the uh, dolphins team team if you guys missed that one he was very good so he should be pretty good with this Titans theme team as well. So super excited to have our boy Wanu and Janu Smith back on the team here. And we also picked up a Quanquo for the backup tight end as well. Tight end two for Quanquo there. So yeah, these two tight ends should be pretty solid for the team. 
Moving on to our next position, that is going to be AJ Brown, the team of the year card here. Now, he does have route tech and tank but unfortunately nothing for the zero ap there they're both one ap abilities it's okay honestly i think it'll be great for the team 99 speed as well six foot and insane route running stats as well so aj brown is going to be an absolute beast on the field as one of our wide receivers so cannot wait to throw the ball to him there got rich eisen as the fullback filler there we have derrick henry from the season pass here we gave him tank and arm bar there a total of one ap for those two abilities there derrick henry man he's definitely going to be solid he should be 99 speed as well he is just an absolute monster you guys always know derrick henry is such a monster in madden ultimate team so i'm super excited to have him on the titans theme team here but moving on to the next position here that's going to be our wide receiver three calvin ridley here only 95 overall but again 95 speed 6-1 solid route runner as well he should be perfectly fine on the titans theme team so super excited to have him as my wide receiver three as well going to our wide receiver one here julio jones from the combine he gets an x factor yakim up charge up is nine plays on this x factor so that should be pretty huge for the team there also has a zero ap red zone threat he does have one ap deep elites and such like that but honestly I'll just take zero AP red zone threat and the zero AP Yakima up as well. So not too worried there. 98 speed. He's a tall wide receiver. He should definitely get the job done for being our wide receiver one. Ryan Fitzmagic is going to be our QB here. A three AP quad stack here. The only downside is the pass lead elite is not a full time ability. It's a six plays and six plays off X factor. So some of the downs he will not have the pass lead elite ability, but 99 throw power, 89 speed, some great accuracies, 6'2", so I believe in Ryan Fitzmagic. I believe he can get the job done there. So yeah, that's how the offense is looking. I'm pretty confident, especially in the wide receiver core, tight end, running back core. There should be so good there. So moving on to the defensive side of the ball, we do have the linebackers to start here again. Al Shahir, now he is quite a bit of a budget beast, like I was saying earlier, 94 speed, 88 zone coverage there. Again, some great stats across the board, 6-1, and he gets one AP Lurk Artist as well. So pretty excited to have him on the team. We have Keith Bullock as well, a stud outside linebacker. He gets Avalanche for free, not to mention the Lurk Artist for free as well, 95 speed, 6-3. Some pretty good block shooting as well. I actually might use him a little bit during the gameplay when i release that as well so keep that in mind we also have kevin byard with universal coverage acrobat and pick artist as well now this universal coverage actually does activate during the game so that is pretty cool as well 98 speed oh actually no that's 96 speed yeah and, and 99 zone coverage all right i thought it was 98 there 96 speed unfortunately but still pretty solid super excited about him there eric bear team captain he is going to be a monster for this team he, he's always a monster on any theme team since he does get the times three cam so he is definitely a great addition to this titans theme team sean murphy bunting there we also have autry as one of our ends we have tier tar and like i said earlier i was going to put jeffrey simmons at d tackle here not the fastest guy but some pretty good block shooting, 98, 6, 4. And, of course, the most important part is he does have inside stuff, which is absolutely huge. So, super excited about that there. And going back to our boy Sean Murphy bunting here. I know he's probably not the best option for one of the cornerback spots, but 93 speed, 6 foot, 89 zone, 91 man. Just a solid corner. Definitely not the best in the world, obviously, but I think he'll get the job done. We also do have Roger McCreary. 96 overall here we gave him pick artist as well here but again just a solid cornerback definitely not going to break the game or anything but he should hold out on his own out on the field there but he's got 96 speed 95 zone coverage 95 man coverage 511 so a little on the shorter side there but again the stats is pretty solid for a 96 overall so Super excited to have him on the team there. But our premier cornerback here is going to be Legarius Sneed, newly acquired Titan here. Pick artist, acrobat as well. 99 speed, 98 zone, and 98 man coverage, six foot. So he's definitely going to be our premier corner. Hopefully, our opponent will be testing our boy Legarius Sneed in the gameplay. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, I mean, cornerbacks looking all right for the most part there. But yeah. 
that is going to do it for this Titans theme team. I hope you guys enjoyed the process of me buying the players, going over the team and the abilities. If you guys would like to, please make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video. But other than that, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.